matcha temperature the current temperature is 26.7 degree matcha matcha humidity the current humidity is 43.5% Hello everyone. In this short video, I will show you how I was able to record my own wake word for the SNPs voice platform. You can buy the SNPs uh, voice interaction development kit and you can configure it according to your needs. So let me show you what the kit actually consists of. So here we have the setup. So this is the Raspberry Pi board. This is the mic board. This is the temperature and humidity sensor. This is the speaker, the relay. We have the micro SD card at the bottom and we have the ethernet port here and the power supply also is given to the board. So this is what we get in the SNPs maker kit. So let us see if the Raspberry Pi can recognize the wake word. So let me go here, open putty, the desktop app. Let me enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Then let me open the terminal. So it's now connected via ethernet. So let me enter the password. So let us view the watch window. Okay, now let us see if the wake word has any effect on the Raspberry Pi. Hopefully this works. Matcha. It detected the wake word. Temperature. The current temperature is 26.7 degree. Okay. Uh, let me try once more. Matcha. Humidity. The current humidity is 32.5%. Uh, okay. So if I say the wake word and don't give a command, then it will give, should give me an error. Matcha. You need a, okay. So it was, it didn't get any it didn't get any recognizable command from me. So this is pretty cool to watch. So you can uh, see what uh, the Raspberry Pi, whether the Raspberry Pi is able to recognize the wake word and the command as well. In this particular case, I have used a wake word as matcha. You can use whichever wake word you want. So three samples of the wake word are stored as audio files in the micro SD card. I'll put up screenshots of the folder location where these uh, audio files are stored. You can view this file system in any Linux distribution such as Ubuntu or OpenSUSE. For Windows, you have to install an external uh, file system viewer. I think it is ext4 view viewer. If you have a Linux distribution, then you should be able to view and edit these files without any issues. The Google Assistant can understand simple words. So let me try temperature in Toronto so yeah this works so let's say I want information about a specific device or a part number let's say AD835 this is not so accurate let me try again AD835 Okay, what I'm looking for is information about AD835. So this is what I'm looking for. It's a four quadrant analog multiplier. Now if we go to DGT, and let's see the availability in stock apply filters. You can see this is the information I'm looking for. Four quadrant multiplier. 
Now, DigiKey has this option where they give complete information, few highlights of the products, the packaging, and also the function of the device. And um, you can also download this data as a clean.csv file. So this provides a good uh, starting data set to work with. And uh, this is what I am most concerned with. It's an IC, it's a four quadrant multiplier. So whenever I speak about AD835, if my assistant is able to provide this information, then it would be good enough and uh, it will be useful than having some generic info or just getting a bunch of links like um, the data sheet or some other links. So that is what I'm working on right now. So let's see how it pans out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments below. Also, if you know a simpler and better way to solve this issue where we are dealing with huge data sets and we are trying to recognize the words using voice or uh, speech recognition issues, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye.